Hello friends, welcome back. Hello. 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 So in last video, Hello. we placed a request Hello. for trial version license key and we got it Hello. in our Hello. inbox. So in this video, we will see how to apply that license key. So for that, we need to have Blue Prism installed. So installing Blue Prism, we will need Blue Prism setup and we also need to install a database server. So let's do it one by one so to get the blue prism setup we need to go to portal.blueprism.com and we will need to log in by our official email id then we have to go to product and current release click on download as per our computer's configuration say for it is 64 bit then we have to download this if it is 32 we need to download this so since mine is 64 bit i will download 64 bit setup so it will prompt me to save the msi file since i have already downloaded it so i will not download it now we need to get sql server setup so for that go to google and Type SQL Server 2014 download. So we will need SQL Server 2014 or above. So from the first link, which is Microsoft web official website, you need to click on this link. Click on download. Select the appropriate uh, setup, 64-bit SQL Express, and click on next. So it will start download so again we have to click on save and it will download since the setup is of larger size i will not again download it because i already have it so now we have got blue prism setup and database server setup so let's install them one by one so as soon as we click on sql express x64 enu setup it will extract the files and create this folder automatically so we need to go to this folder and click on setup click on yes so it will start the installation so here you need to click new SQL server standalone installation so now I will install the database and it will navigate through some steps which may take longer time so I will fast forward my video to install it quickly all right so I have installed the SQL server now I need to install blue prism so to do that we need to double click on the MSI file of Blue Prism, which we installed from the Blue Prism portal. Make sure your Chrome browsers are closed before you install Blue Prism. We need to click next, next, next. right so blue prism is also installed since we want to launch it check this checkbox and click on finish <clears throat> as soon as it is launched it will give this it may give uh, this kind of error so just click on ok so now from here the steps are very crucial please make sure you don't remove your license after activating it otherwise you may not get your license back so just only do it once and carefully so to configure your license click on configure connection so 
for configuring the license we need to create a new connection for us these are the existing connections I already created but let me create new connection so click on new connection and give your connection a name say for my connection select SQL Server Windows authentication this is because while installing the database we selected window Windows authentication only here we need to mention localhost SQL Express again SQL Express is the instance name which we given during our database installation so make sure you remember the instance name what you have provided during your installation of database we have to give the same name here now give database name say for blue prism 6 6 6 then click, click on create database click ok so database will be created now click ok now see these username and password fields are enabled so first time user id and password are admin and admin user id is admin password is admin so it will prompt you to change the password for the first sign in we need to enter a new password here click finish the password has successfully changed click ok now these are the very critical steps so here we need to activate our blue prism license so to do that we need to browse our file which which was sent to our inbox so this is the trial version license key i have to provide the path of this and click on open click on next click on generate new activation code click on copy to clipboard and next step now here we need to activate the license to do that we have to go to customer portal click on customer portal here and reminding you again that this process can be done only once so don't do much practical on this front so check this checkbox and since we have clicked on clip to uh, clipboard so paste the key here and click on submit license activation so now it has been successful so again copy to clipboard now this is your final license now go back to blue prism and click on I have got my validation code paste this code here so we can click on paste from clipboard and click on next so license is activated now on next finish close this there you go so you you will see that you have all the tabs enabled here and you can start working on blue prism and if you go to systems tab and click on license here we see that it is for one month only so this trial license will work for one month only for 15 published processes and two runs so 
that's all so this is how we activate our license and apply the same in the blue prism so in upcoming videos we will see how to do the development using blue prism tool thanks for watching